Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys, and five semi-finalists. They will be answering questions on an American general who became president, the decade of pop music that brought us the Beatles, the city described as the Athens of the North, one of America's greatest writers, and the father of the NHS. They will get a minute and a half to answer questions on those subjects and two minutes on their general knowledge. And the winner, of course, goes through to the final. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Amit Day. Your occupation? Financial services analyst. And your chosen subject? Edinburgh. Edinburgh, old Ricky, in 90 seconds, starting now. Which bank, founded in 1695 to offer long-term credit and security, has its headquarters on Edinburgh's mound? Uh, bank of Scotland. Yes. What is the name of Edinburgh's principal railway station located at the eastern end of Princess Street? Waverley. Yep. The clock in the tower at the Balmoral Hotel is traditionally set fast to ensure commuters are on time for their train at Waverley. By how many minutes fast is the clock set? Five minutes. Three minutes. What annual event, first staged in 1950, takes place over three weeks in August and features displays of marching and massed pipes and drums? Majorly tattoo. Yes. What was the name of Sir Walter Scott's deerhound, whose statue sits next to that of his owner at the Scott Monument in Princess Street? Maida. Yep. In 1826, construction began of an exact replica of the Parthenon in Athens, but it was never completed. On what hill is the unfinished structure? Calton Hill. Yes. In which churchyard at the southern edge of the old town is the poet William McGonagall? buried? Um, Greyfriars Cult. Yes. A 23-year-old self-taught architect won a competition in 1766 launched by Lord Provost to design Edinburgh's new town. What was his name? James Craig. Correct. What is the name of the mosaic of granite cobblestone set in the pavement outside the west door of St Giles Cathedral that passes by Spiton for luck? Heart of Midlothian. Yes. Which king popularised the use of tartan when he appeared in Edinburgh in Highland dress during a state visit to Scotland? The visit was the first by a monarch since Charles II. George IV. Yes. Which former church that is now used as a venue at the Edinburgh Festival takes its name from the public way bridge that once occupied the site? St George's Church? No, Troncourt. Uh, Amit, no passes. You have scored nine points. Next contender, please. Your name is? Andrew Brewer. Your occupation? Solicitor. And your chosen subject? The life and career of Ulysses S. Grant. The American Civil War general, President of the United States. 90 seconds starting now. What regiment was Grant commissioned as a brevet second lieutenant when he graduated from West Point Military Academy in 1843? Fourth Infantry. Yep. What battle fought on the west bank of the Mississippi on the 7th of November 1861 was Grant's first action as a commander? Belmont. Yep. With what four words did Grant end his statement accepting the Republican Party nomination for the presidency in 1868? It became his unofficial campaign slogan. Let us have peace. Yes. Whom did Grant appoint as his Secretary of State in March 1869? He held the position throughout Grant's presidency. Fisk. No, Hamilton Fish. Grant's Native American military secretary wrote out the final draft of the Confederate surrender terms at Appomattox and was appointed Commissioner of Indian Affairs during Grant's presidency. What was his name? Eli S. Parker. Yes. To what rant was Grant promoted in March 1864? It put him in command of all Union armies during the later stages of the Civil War. Lieutenant General. Correct. He was nicknamed Unconditional Surrender Grant after he sent an ultimatum to the commander of Fort Donelson. What was that commander's name? Simon Bolivar Buckner. Yes, on the 4th of May, 1864, at the start of his campaign against Robert E. Lee, Grant's Army of the Potomac crossed the Virginia River at the Germanna and Ely's Forts. Which river? The Rapidan. Yes, when Grant visited China in the 1870s, he was asked to mediate in a dispute with Japan over a group of islands. Which islands? Sorry, pass. What was the name of the only slave owned by Grant? He freed him in 1859. <laughs> William Jones? William Jones is correct. You had one pass. The dispute with Japan was over the group of Lu Chu Islands. Well, so there we are. Andrew, you have eight points. <laughs> and 
And our next contender, please. And your name is? Linda King. Your occupation? Retired NHS clinic coordinator. And your chosen subject? 1960s pop music. A decade of chart hits in 90 seconds. Here we go. What instrumental by The Shadows knocked Please Don't Tease, which they performed with Cliff Richard off the number one spot in 1960? Apache? Yes. Which band reached number one with the song Everlasting Love in February 1968, although the recording only features one member of the band, the singer Steve Ellis, with some session musicians? Love Affair. Yes. Which song by the Hollies unusually went from being in the top three one week to being outside the top 20 the next week in 1966? I've got to go. I can't let go. What is the title of the other track on the Rolling Stones' double A-side single, We Love You, that charted in August 1967? Dandelion. Yes. In 1966, the Lennon and McCartney song Girl reached number 11 for the group St Louis Union and number 27 for which duo? Pass. On which Mike Sarn chart-topping hit of July 1962 did Wendy Richard have a spoken part? Come outside. Yes. Who had a number one single as part of a duo in September 1965 and had a solo top ten hit the same month with Laugh At Me? Sonny Bono. Yes. What is the title of the first top 40 single by the Springfields? It gave Dusty Springfield early UK chart success in September 1961. Island of Dreams? Uh, breakaway. Jerry and the Pacemakers had three consecutive number one singles before their fourth chart single only reached number two. What was it called? I'm the one. Correct. In April 1965, the Tamla Motown label had its first two top 40 singles in the UK with songs performed by the Supremes and which other group? Martha and the Vandellas. Martha and the Vandellas is correct. You had one pass. The duo that sang that Lennon and McCartney song was Truth. Yep. Uh, you've scored, Linda, seven points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? David Cowan. Your occupation? Retired Information Systems Architect. And your chosen subject? The life of an Irene Bevan. The Welsh politician who created the NHS in 90 seconds. Starting now, Bevan was first elected to political office in 1922 as a member of the District Council for the town where he was born. Which town? Tredega. Yep. Who was Bevan referring to in his maiden parliamentary speech when he claimed that his chameleon-like character in politics is founded upon a temperamental disability? Winston Churchill. Yes. What was the name of the secretary of the BMA with whom Bevan negotiated fiercely before the founding of the NHS? He was also well known for his broadcasting career as the radio doctor. Charles Hill. Yep. What is the title of his partly autobiographical book published in 1952? In Place of Fear. Yes. What was the name of the colliery where he began working around the time of his 14th birthday? T. Trist. Yes. Two future leaders of the Labour Party were among the group of MPs known as Bevanites who gathered around him in the early 50s. One was Michael Foote. Who was the other? Harold Wilson. Yes. In 1954, he ran unsuccessfully for which influential position in the Labour Party? Two years later, he was elected to the post. Treasurer. Yes. In which city did he make a speech? On the 4th of July, 1948, in which he expressed his deep burning hatred for the Tory party and described its members as lower than vermin. Manchester. Yes. What's the name of the Uruguayan writer whose works, such as The Motives of Proteus, were a profound influence on his political thinking? Rodo. Yes. In a speech on nuclear disarmament in 1957, Bevan said that while supporters of unilateral action by the UK might call that statesmanship, I call it what? Surrender. An emotional spasm. Yeah. What is the name of the farm in Buckinghamshire that he and Jenny Lee bought in 1954 as a diversion from the pressure of politics? Ashridge. Is correct. No passes, Dave. You've got ten points. <laughs> Final contender, please. And your name is? Oliver Forrest. Your occupation? Civil servant. Chosen subject? The fiction of John Steinbeck. 
and a wonderful writer who gave us the Grapes of Wrath. In 90 seconds, in which American state did the Jode family live at the beginning of the Grapes of Wrath before the effects of the Dust Bowl convinced them to make the journey to California? Oklahoma. Yep. What's the name of the mule driver in Of Mice and Men with an ageless hatchet face who comforts George after Lenny's death? Uh, Carlson? Slim. What flavour milkshake does Doc order at a roadside stand in Cannery Row? He tells the girl at the counter he needs that flavour because of a bladder complaint. Beer. Yes. What is the name of Adam Trask's son in East of Eden who's killed during the First World War? The news of his death causes Adam to have a stroke. Cow? Aaron. In Tortilla Flat, what item does Danny steal from a restaurant along with four eggs, two slices of ham and a lamb chop? A table leg. A fly swatter. Who is the leader of the large group of striking workers in Indubious Battle whose grandchild is born with the help of Mac? Uh, London. Yes. What is the name of the ranch hand in Of Mice and Men who kills Candy's sheepdog by taking it outside and shooting it in the back of the head? Carlson. Yes. In which city is the waterfront street of Cannery Row described by Steinbeck as a poem, a stink, a grating noise, a quality of light, a tone, a habit, a nostalgia, a dream? Monterey. Yes. When the young Adam Trask beats his half-brother Charles in a game, Charles violently attacks him, and Adam decides to never win anything again. What is the game called? Marbles. Pee-wee. The winter of our discontent opens with Mary Hawley reminding her husband, Ethan, that it is what specific day of the Christian calendar? Good Friday. Yep. The penultimate chapter of Cannery Row focuses on a wild animal that lives in a vacant lot on the street. What animal? Gopher. Yep. The Grapes of Wrath ends in a barn with one of the Joad sisters, who's just given birth to a stillborn baby, breastfeeding a starving man to try to save his life. Which sister? Ross Ashan. Yes, it was indeed. No passes, Oliver. You have scored eight points. brings us to the end of our first round, a very close round. We now move on to the general knowledge round. So it's time to ask our five semi-finalists to rejoin us back in the studio. And at this stage, of course, our contenders do not know how each other had performed in the first round, so let's put them out of their misery and tell them. In fifth place, seven points, Linda. Joint third place, eight points, Andrew and Oliver. Second place, nine points, Amy. First place with ten points, Dave. <laughs> Now they will each get two minutes of questions on their general knowledge. And if there's a tie at the end of the round, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. So let's get on with it. And ask Linda to join us again, please. And, uh, as I say, Linda, you start out with seven points. Not far behind. And we've got two minutes of general knowledge in which you can catch up. Here we go. Jacob Marley and Tiny Tim are characters from which Dickens story? Christmas Carol. Yep. Which pop star had to be rescued by helicopter when his yacht drum capsized during the 1985 Fast Net race? Simon Le Bon. Yep. A city in Pennsylvania was named after a future British Prime Minister when the French were expelled by General John Forbes in 1758. Which city? Pittsburgh. Yep. Who won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for playing the fictional Broadway star Helen Sinclair in the 94 Woody Allen film Bullets Over Broadway? Diane Keaton. No, Diane Wiest. What character from the Beano comic has a pet dog called Nasher and a pet pig called Rasher? Dennis the Menace. Yep, which gas that Joseph Priestley was one of the first to discover did he call deflogisticated air because it supported combustion? Oxford. Yes, which shrub with showy pendulous flowers is named after a 16th century German botanist? It also gives its name to a shade of dark pink. Fuchsia. Yes, what spoof Asian chat show was hosted by Sanji Bhaskar, held by his television family, in a studio built in the garden? Kumar's number four. Yes, how are the brothers Alexei, Dmitri and Ivan known in the title of Fyodor Dostoevsky's novel that was completed shortly before his death in 1881? Karamazov. Yes, which patriotic song is based on the trio theme from Elgar's Pomp and Circumstance, March number one. Land of Hope and Glory? Yep. What is the name of the traditional Welsh broth normally made with lamb or bacon with leeks and cabbage? Lamb stew. Cowl. Which painting style, especially associated with Picasso, rejected traditional techniques such as perspective and emphasised the flat, two-dimensional nature of the picture? Cubism? Yes. The Roman province of Lusitania included much of the territory of which modern-day country? Portugal. Yep. By what name are the three goddesses of vengeance of Greek mythology usually known? 
The Fates. The Furies. In which national park are the villages of Dunster and Porlock popular tourist attractions? Peak District. Exmoor. Which kind of juvenile corrective institution was named after the village near Rochester in Kent where the first one was established in 1902? They were abolished by the Criminal Justice Act of 1982. Bolstall. Is correct. No passes, Linda. I told you I had lots to try to catch up and you've gone to 19 points. <laughs> And now, Andrew, again, please. And uh, you start the round with eight points, Andrew. And you've just heard the score to beat. Here we go. Two minutes, which to do it. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot is the international Morse code for what distress signal? SOS. Yep. Who withdrew his army from the Trojan War after Agamemnon took his captured slave girl, Briseis, for himself? Achilles. Yep. The Emelianborg, Charlottenburg and Princens palaces are buildings in which European capital city? Vienna. Copenhagen. What desserts from Austria is made of layers of thin pastry rolled around fruit and baked? Its name comes from the German for whirlpool or eddy. Pass. Which Spanish-born dress designer, famous for his elegant ball gowns, introduced the so-called sack line in the mid-1950s that hung loosely from the shoulders? Pass. By what name was the city of St. Petersburg known from 1914 until 1924 when its name was changed to Leningrad? Petrograd. Yes. Which actor played Nurse Megan Roach in Casualty and won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar in 1990 for My Left Foot? Brenda Blethyn. Brenda Fricker. In what method of cleaning clothes is the solvent tetrachloroethylene widely used? Dry, dry cleaning. Yes. Which song gave Rosemary Clooney a UK number one hit in 1954 and Shakin Stevens his first UK number one in 1981? Green Door. This old house. Which dog is the smallest recognised breed? It's named after a Mexican state and became popular in America in the mid-19th century. Chihuahua. Correct. The novelist born Elizabeth Cleghorn Stevenson in London and brought up in Nutsford is better known by her married name. What is it? Mrs Gaskell. Yes. What name is given to the work by Handel that provided entertainment for a party on the Thames hosted by King George I in July 1717? The Water Music. Correct. In which 2018 television sitcom starring Mark Wotton and Asim Chowdhury are a group of airplane passengers and crew stranded on a deserted island in the Indian Ocean? The jet set. High and dry. What is the name of the headland in Cornwall that forms the most westerly point of the English mainland? The Lizard. Land's End. The recently founded WEP fielded seven candidates at the 2017 general election under the leadership of Sophie Walker. What do the initials WEP stand for? Women's Equality Party. Is correct. Uh, two passes. Balenciaga was that famous Spanish-born dress designer and uh, that dessert... Uh, comes from the German for whirlpool, or Eddie, is strudel. You have, Andrew, 16 points. <laughs> and now, Oliver, again, please. And uh, you start out with eight points, Oliver. And uh, let's see how you do with two minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. Atlanta is the capital of which state in America? Georgia. Yep. What name that comes from the Hebrew for to desist is given to the Jewish day of rest celebrated from sunset on Friday till nightfall the following day? Seder? No, Sabbath. The Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore is in which Italian city? Its dome is a distinctive feature of the skyline. Milan? Florence. The Jacobean dramatist John Fletcher's play The Woman's Prize, or The Tamer Tamed, is regarded as a sequel to which of Shakespeare's plays? Uh, Taming of the Shrew. Yes. With what song did Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa top the UK singles charts in April 2018? Girls. One Kiss. Which long-winged seabirds get their name because they appear to cut into the waves when they skim over the surface of the water? Wave cutters. Sheer waters. Which superhero whose alter ego is T'Challa, the heir to the kingdom of Wakanda, is played in a 2018 film by Chadwick Boseman? Black Panther. Yep. Yeah. AR is the chemical symbol of what inert gaseous element? Argon. Yep. Yeah. Who tours America as different characters interviewing unsuspected guests in the 2018 television series Who is America? Sasha Baron Cohen. Yep. Yeah. Which composer's first work, as listed by the Austrian musicologist Ludwig von Kirchhoff, is a minuet for piano written in 1762 when he was only a about five years old. 
Mozart? Yeah. Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and what other grape variety are the three principal varieties permitted in the production of Champagne? Pinot Grigio. Chardonnay. Which artist, best known for his depiction of working-class life in and around Manchester, produced football-themed paintings that include Going to the Match and Manchester City versus Sheffield United? Lowry. Yeah. The last commander, the long-serving and experienced master mariner Edward John Smith, who was born in 1850, was as captain of which ill-fated ship? Uh, Bounty. Titanic. Which politician who's effectively ruled Turkey since 2003 won the country's presidential election in June 2018? Uh, pass. Keswick in Cumbria has a museum dedicated to what writing implements the town was a centre for their manufacture because of the proximity of large deposits of graphite? Pencils. Is correct. Uh, one pass that Turkish politician, he uh, runs the country now, is Erdogan. Oliver, you have 16 points. And now, Amit again, please. And uh, you start out with nine points, Amit. The score to beat is still 19 points. Here we go. On which island are the seaside resorts of Sandown, Shanklin and Ventnor? Isle of Man. The Isle of Wight. What term is used in cookery for the process in which a raw pastry case is lined with greaseproof paper, weighted down with dried beans and partly cooked before the filling is added? Pastry. Baking blind. The name of which plant is used for a person who, from shyness or unpopularity, remains on the sidelines of a social activity, particularly a dance? Sunflower. Wallflower. The XX, Alt J, PJ Harvey, and James Blake have all won a prestigious annual prize for the best album from the United Kingdom and Ireland. What prize? Mercury Prize. Yes. The content of the three synoptic gospels in the New Testament is very similar, but the fourth gospel tells the story of the life of Jesus differently. Who wrote the fourth one? John. Yeah. Which Nobel Prize winning author's debut novel, The Tin Drum, was published in 1959 and formed the first part of his Dancy trilogy? Grass. Yes. In which animated television cartoon series is the character Kenny repeatedly killed off to cry such as, Oh, my God, they killed Kenny! South Park. Yep. Which town lies almost at Australia's geographical centre? Geelong. Alice Springs. The name of what body in the outer solar system was suggested by an English schoolgirl when it was discovered in 1930? Its moons have all been named after mythological figures associated with the underworld. Pluto. Yes. Chopin's piano compositions include mazurkas and another dance from his native country that reflected his strong nationalist feelings. What dance? Polonaise. Yes. Who was elected head of Germany's Christian Democratic Union in 2000 to become its first woman and first non-Catholic leader? Merkel. Correct. Which battle in Western Russia in July 1943 included what is considered one of the world's largest tank battles? Stalingrad. No, Kursk. In a 2018 film based on a true story, a young couple faced a catastrophic hurricane as they sailed from Tahiti to San Diego. What's the film called? Lost. Adrift. A statue by Gillian Waring of a campaigner for women's suffrage was unveiled in Parliament Square in April 2018. Which campaigner? Fawcett. Indeed, Millicent Fawcett. No passes, Amit. You have 17 points. <laughs> and finally, Dave, please. Again, and um, Dave, you start out with 10 points. The score to beat is still 19. So here we go, see if you can do it and get through to the final. Here we go. Bay and sash are types of what feature of a building? Window. Yep. In Indian cuisine, triangular savoury pastries fried in ghee or oil and filled with spiced vegetables or meat are known by what name? Samosas. Yep. On which island is Gunbjorn's Fjelt, the highest mountain in the Arctic? It's sometimes called the Eighth Summit by mountaineers climbing the seven highest continental summits. Greenland. Yep. The Impressionist art movement took its name from the 1872 painting Impression Sunrise by which French artist? Monet. Yep. Which police informer is played by the rapper Snoop Dogg in the 2004 film version of Starsky and Hutch? Huggy Bear. Yes. Who joined Chrissy Hind and Cher to record the hit Love Can Build a Bridge for Comic Relief 1995? 
Pass. What name that comes from the Greek for spider is given to the group of animals that include scorpions, ticks and spiders? Arachnids. Yep. Which Italian physicist was granted the world's first patent for a system of radio telegraphy in July 1897? Marconi. Correct. Who took over from Chris Tarrant as the presenter of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when it returned for a 20th anniversary special in 2018? Jeremy Clarkson. Yep. The first of an Austrian composer's 104 symphonies was composed around 1757, his last in 1795. Which composer? Hi. Yep. In ancient Egyptian religion, the god Thoth was the patron of learning and writing and the personification of which heavenly body? The sun. The moon. In a novel written by Percival C. Wren, Michael and his brothers Digby and John join the French Foreign Legion when suspicion falls on them following the theft of a family heirloom. What's the title of the novel? Beaujest. Yeah. Which Scottish loch is mainland Britain's largest lake in terms of surface area? Ness. Lomond. Who resigned as Brexit Secretary from Theresa May's Cabinet in July 2018? He was followed quickly by the Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson. David Davis. Yep. Which Frenchman became the first person to fly across the Mediterranean when he flew from a beach near Cannes to North Africa in 1913? A Parisian tennis venue was named after him. I'll pass. What environmental start its all finish and conservation organisation now known by its initials has its UK headquarters at the Living Planet Centre in Woking? Oh, the RSPCA? No, the WWF, Worldwide Fund for Nature. Two passes, you'll be crossing yourself about this one. That Frenchman who became famous for flying across the Mediterranean was Roland Garros, yes. the Garros yes. Stadium, right? And it was Nana Cherry who joined Chrissy Hind and sure. Yes. But doesn't matter because, Dave, you have scored 21 points. You're the winner. <laughs> well, a close contest, but a clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint fourth place with 16 points, Andrew and Oliver. Third place, 17 points, Amy. Second place, 19 points, Linda. First place, 21 points, Dave. So Dave is, of course, tonight's winner, and he goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>